I've had a request to show people how to extract the leftover printer ink from your printer cartridges when your printer is telling you or your computer is telling you that they are empty. This is one I've already extracted. Here is the one what I extracted from it. These are what ends up after you have used up the leftover dye that is still in your cartridge even though your printer, printer is telling you they are empty. Take a chisel and a hammer. Put it right on the seam. You may not have two different colors. It may be just black and black but you want to put it on the join or the seam where it's glued together. Okay, I've got it part way done. You don't need to do all the way but about a quarter of the way down or about a half way down. Usually does it. Pry it back. Can you see what I'm doing there? to see what I'm showing you. Pull that back. Take a needle nose plier and pull it out. That's not the last of it. There's one last thing in there. Inside here is this little circle as well. Whoop! It got away on me. You want to use needle nose pliers because otherwise your fingers get full of ink. Now they're ready to throw out. Now you've extracted all the ink. Printer ink is expensive. Can't afford to waste it. So, here is a roaster pan. It's dedicated strictly for dyeing. I don't use it for food. I don't roast turkeys in it anymore. Take that and inside here is an acid bath. So it's got citric acid and water and wool. It's not a super wash wool. It's just a regular wool. It's uh, fiber, not yarn. Put your ink cartridge on top. Put the other one on top, put your little circle somewhere else, and now I forgot to bring my smooshy thing down, oh no it's here, take and squish it down. The dye bath is currently cold, it is not warm at this point. You want to have time to smoosh things around so that you can get in to where all the different places are and allow that ink to get into all the different places. And if you smoosh it around enough, it'll get into all those different places. There's a lot of ink in there actually. This is probably about 200 grams of fiber. I didn't weigh it, but probably about 200 grams of fiber. And it's doing quite well and covering and doing a lot of coverage. When you're finished they end up looking like this all nice and white and clean. There's nothing left in there. I do want to make them run over into each other a little bit so I get some mixed colors. I don't want to agitate too much, but I do want to get most of the white spots taken care of. It was soaking in the dye bath for a little bit of time before I did, but it is also cold so that the dye doesn't strike as soon. It doesn't strike until you add the heat as much. So it's still, if you look, there's blue over top of that spoon. If you look here, there's yellow coming up over top of the spoon. Okay. One last thing you need, you need
need an acid source, which in this case was citric acid, but you can also use um, what is called, or white vinegar. That is an acid source as well. Citric acid is just vitamin C. You need one last thing for this to work and for this to be permanent. You need a heat source. Turn it on when it starts to simmer, turn it down to low, leave it simmering for about 20 minutes, and when you're done, the, di the dye bath will be clear. So then it will exhaust all the fi color into the fiber. There's a little section there that doesn't have some blue in it. Uh, make sure most of it is getting it. Most of the yellow is in there. And that's how it works. I'm going to leave it running for a little bit so you can see a little bit what's done. Once it's done, these cushions or these foams will no longer be colored. They will be pure white. The uh, little circles tend not to quite clear all the way. I don't know, I've never tried squeezing one. Maybe I can squeeze a little bit more out. Oh, look at that. Look at all that lovely blue there. I have to squeeze them more often. I'm pinching it with the, the pliers just, just to get some of that ink out. There's quite a bit in there for that little disc. So when your printer is telling you that your ink cartridges are empty and you have spent a fortune on your ink cartridges, don't throw your ink cartridges away. Your printer is lying to you. There is good ink in there still. Use it to dye your yarn. You could do it on yarn as well as wool, but it does need to be a protein fiber. It can't be uh, cotton or acrylic. It needs to be wool, uh, silk, although I've only dyed a wool silk blend with these. I have dyed a wool silk blend. The magenta works as well. Um, I currently only wanted the blue and yellow in this yarn or in this wool, but um, the magenta works as well. The black does not work. It also needs to be an inkjet printer. The laser printers don't work either. Sorry, if you've got a laser printer, you're out of luck. But maybe your neighbor has a, an inkjet printer that you can ask them for their expired cartridges. And they can give you their expired cartridges. The moral of this story is, don't trust the computer. Not really. <laughs> so there you go. We'll leave it simmer. And um, I do not have much capability for with the computer. I'm pretty computer illiterate, but I will be posting uh, pictures of the finished yarn in, or finished fiber in um, the Chemnitz lab group on Facebook. If you want to go over there and have to join the group, but if you're a dyer, you probably want to be joining that group anyway. It's a good group to be in. Thank you very much.